post sampling instructions. Do not combine, mix, blend, or otherwise composite the UCMR3 samples. Preferably ship samples on the same day of sampling. Chill samples until at or below 10 degrees Celsius by exchanging the ice used during sampling with available sealed bags of fresh frozen ice or frozen gel packs. Pack the chilled samples in a cooler with frozen gel packs. Place the completed kit order and chain of custody in a Ziploc bag in a cooler on top of packing material. Be sure to include the collector's name, unique field sample ID from the UCMR database, PWSID number, facility ID number from the UCMR database, time and date of collection, comments about the sample if applicable, sample type such as EP, MR, or FB, and sample event number such as SE1, SE2, SE3, SE4 on the chain of custody. Ship the samples via overnight service such as FedEx, UPS, or DHL. Ship the samples using an appropriate overnight service. If we receive it within 48 hours of collection, samples must be between zero, not frozen, and 10 degrees Celsius. If we receive samples more than 48 hours after sampling, they must be between zero, not frozen, and six degrees Celsius. If we receive samples on the day of collection, samples can be greater than 10 degrees Celsius but must show evidence of cooling. If you can't ship the samples out on the same day of sampling, cool the samples down by placing them overnight in a cooler with frozen gel packs or ice or in a refrigerator. Store chilled for at least 12 hours before packing for shipment. Maintain the samples cold until you repack them in the cooler for the shipment to the lab. Please note that the maximum holding time for samples is either 14 or 28 days from time of collection. See individual written instructions for specific test holding times. Please refer to Eurofin's Eaton Analytical's written sampling instructions for specific details.